Welcome back, everybody, to NFL Head Coach 09 as our playoff run with the Falcons continues. In the divisional round, we get the Chicago Bears today, coming off our wild card win against the Saints. It was kind of a weird game. Matt Ryan got hurt before the game happened, and he should be good to go for this one. But we were able to run the ball really effectively, or effectively enough with Michael Turner, and we got the job done. Jason Campbell, I thought, played a decent game. We didn't throw the football a whole lot. We wanted to run the football as much as we could. Campbell gave us 32 yards on the ground while Michael Turner had 61. The numbers for Turner don't look all that great, but situationally, I thought he played really well, and 49 of those yards were after first contact, so he really had an impressive day on his own. And the defense, of course. I mean, we faced John Beck. It wasn't the toughest matchup, but the defense played pretty well. And we'll see if we can do it again against Chicago. Now, they had the first round by, of course. And this NFC is loaded, so the teams at the top are pretty good. We already beat them once this year, though, so it has happened. But overall, the Bears went 14-2, and so we know they're going to be tough. Looks like we'll see Ken Dorsey, a quarterback, coming off a 38-touchdown, 21-pick season. Adrian Joseph Jr. at running back, 1,200 yards, 9 touchdowns. That's impressive. 11 touchdowns here for rookie Trevor McCormick at 5'8", 185. Devin Hester is also on this team. We know Hester can fly. He's got the speed. How about McCormick? I don't know much about him. 90 speed, 92 acceleration. That's pretty fast. Defensively, I mean, the Bears were very good in this era, so I expect them to be incredibly tough. I don't think we'll see a ton of points in this game either. I think we'll probably play very similarly. All right, Matt Ryan will be active for this game. Let's see if he's actually 100%. He's at 83%, 55% on the torso, but Matt Ryan will get the start at quarterback today. No surprises here with our inactives. We'll take a look at what the Bears have here. And all their top players appear to be in. So it should be a really good game today. Who's moving on to the NFC Championship? Here we are, everybody, in Chicago for this division round playoff matchup. Falcons and Bears. Let's get it underway. Hopefully today our defense can keep it, you know, under control. Don't allow their speed to get big plays against us. And then I want to run the football with Michael Turner once again. I think that's going to be what will help us get as far as possible here in the playoffs. I'll let the coordinator call the, the opening sequence here. They're going spread out though. Ken Dorsey under center. They have some good talent on this offense, and they'll start with Adrian Joseph looking for an opening, and he'll get four. What is this, a goal line package here? Were there two fullbacks? Inside with room, and Joseph has enough for a Bears first down. Guys, that's not what I wanted. All right, so we're going to get into some play calling here. They go four wide to, like, super eye formation, back to four wide again. All right, whatever. First and ten here for the Bears. It's another handoff here. Three in a row for Joseph. And he's taken down at the 45. Will we see Dorsey throw for the first time? Here he is back to pass. And the pressure's on. And Joseph is taken down. That should be a loss. I've been working on getting this play a bit more mastered. Let's go weak side surprise here against Ken Dorsey on third and seven. This is where I like zone blitzes, especially third and medium. Let's see if we get some pressure. Dorsey fires outside, and that's broken up by Demario Waddle. Perfect play. That's what I want out of those calls. Either they throw it quick and we're ready, or they hold on to the football and get sacked. Might not be the last time I call that play today. And now this should be returnable from inside the 15. Xavier Short up to the 27-yard line. 
All right, Matt Ryan is in the game. Two tight ends on the field for the Atlanta offense. And we're going to start things. Michael Turner up the middle for maybe that one. I've really come to enjoy the counters. The counter. They are somewhat risky if they're trying to shoot gaps or whatever. And especially in like the newer football games, counters just don't work like they used to. But in this game, they still can. Oh, Turner, he wanted to run left? The play was designed to go right. So, running the football hasn't worked on this first drive. Got to get the chains moved here in the air. Matt Ryan on third down. Throws quick and Harry Douglas. Continues a great on season today, with a first baby. down catch. Switching up our running game now. Trying to get Turner outside. Might cycle between like this camera and then the cinematic one. Here's Turner on the outside. Oh, there's the stiff arm and a first down. That's how you that was really nice. We controlled the edge, attack him outside. We'll go back to that. And also, I love running behind a fullback in this game, and I've just been doing that a lot more in all my series, really. So, inside goes Chuck Castle, and he'll actually look to bounce it. And that appears to be a good decision. Gain of seven. Offset pistol look here on second and three. Ryan under pressure delivers. And that's a short pickup. Actually, maybe no gain. Tatum the second tight end here on second down. Or no, third and three. Ryan heads to the air. He's got plenty of time, but no one appears to be open. He'll throw late and off the mark intended for Roddy White. Excellent coverage there by the Bears. And we'll bring out the field goal team. This is a 50-yard try. We're kicking a field goal. Come on, Prater. Has he hit a 50 in this series before? Matt Prater's kick. It is good. 3-0 Falcons. Well, everything they've run has either been spread or very compact. Wait, it told me it was going to be like three tight ends and two fullbacks. Whatever, they're going to throw it here. Pressure seems to be picked up and now the dump off late. Oh, you got to let him catch that. Would have lost six yards. Yeah, I wish they were accurate here telling me the personnel because that's pretty important. Here's second and ten off the fake, and Dorsey has a completion. Very close to a first down. I like getting aggressive here on these third and shorts, but if they got time to go deep, watch out for 23 wide left. We're sending six. Dorsey off his back foot. No, it's incomplete. Yes. So far, blitzing on third down is two for two. I like how the game is starting so far. I'm very happy with the defense, and from what I've seen from the running game, we could have a pretty solid day. We'll go wide again. Michael Turner finds open field and lost the football, but he finds it. Wow. I think that might have actually been a fumble, too. Whether or not it was a fumble, truly, it benefited us. First and 10 at the Atlanta 47. And we'll throw on first and 10, and uh-oh, that was close. They ruled that a drop by Roddy White and a drop by Nathan Vasher, I guess. Like, it gave me the uh, reaction opportunity to, like, get emotional over him dropping it. And then the bottom line says Vasher dropped it, so I have no idea what happened, really. But the Bears are contesting some of these short throws, and we're throwing again on second down. This is hauled in. Both safeties back deep here for Chicago on third and two. Castle, no shot! Drilled in the backfield, and the Bears will pick up the stop. Oh, come on. That punt is not very good at all. At the 25-yard line, that's one of the worst punts I've actually had to watch here. So, not terrible or great field position, but it should have been, you know, them inside their 15 or something. All right. We've played good defense so far. Bears will start with a pitch here. Adrian Joseph has the outside and looks to cut back in. 
And he's thrown yeah, down like after a nine-yard pickup. Again, it told me it was going to be the compact look. So I'm just going to like base zone defenses when they do that. Check down here to Joseph, and that's enough for a first down across the 40-yard line. Bears out of the eye. Fake to Joseph, and open across the middle. That's a first down. Oh, Best on, play defense. they've had all day. That catch was made by tight end Quinn Sipniewski. He is lining up on the left of the formation here, and again, it's the two-fullback approach. Dorsey's got time off the fake, and again across the middle, a first down. But there might be a penalty here. Oh, come on, it's a face mask call. Bears already at the Atlanta 12, moving quick on this drive. Hester wide left in a split backfield. Seven protecting Dorsey. He'll throw for Hester, and he has a touchdown. The Bears take the lead. That was a very good drive. What just happened? Well, we got some work to do if Chicago can play like that. And again, Castle is stuffed in the backfield. He had no shot. We're probably going to have to throw the football a lot better than we have so far. Come on, Matt Ryan. Pressure's on the way. He stands in and delivers to Roddy White. A 3-3-5 look from the Bears' defense. They bring more pressure, and Ryan dumps it complete for a short gain, and we don't get there. A lot of these short throws that I have in the offense are just not creating enough separation. And now we have a defining moment. Oh, man, this is early... And we are, you know, in our territory right now. I don't think I want to go for this one. I just don't think it's a good idea. Not with how disruptive they've been on our runs lately and how they're contesting the throws. I just can't justify it at R36. They've had one good drive. Let's just try to play some defense here. And it's Hester across the 30. Spread out and starting in the air on first down. No one near Dorsey as he throws in the traffic and almost got picked. Fake and a throw outside and that's caught. Another first down and that's Devin Hester now working against Amario Waddle. We have an injury update here apparently. Who's hurt? Paul Puzlesny, okay, that must have been on a punt or something. So he is out for the game. So we don't have a ton of linebacker depth. I usually have a couple of the backups inactive, so we'll see how that goes. What is this, the Maryland formation? Uh-oh, Dorsey in trouble, and he's taken down for a loss. Call that again, please. Third down and 11 here. We're not blitzing on third and long. This is man-to-man. -man. We should have Curtis Lofton covering the middle. Here's Dorsey with time. Throwing outside and again hold in. Come on, guys, relax. We got to make plays there. We're not getting pressure. The coverage is just not good enough. That's Trevor McCormick, the rookie. And the Bears are finding their rhythm on offense. This is pretty worrisome as they go spread out on first and ten. And here's Dorsey underneath incomplete. Another fake getting very pass heavy and it's working Chicago inside the 15. Come on, man. Keep your focus. Don't let I think it I liked it better when they just wanted to run the football. They've completely changed up their approach. Dorsey first and 10 and that one is that caught. Good. Trying to force a mistake down here in the red zone. Second down, Chicago. Still not running. Dorsey, he throws over the middle, and we dropped it. It should have been a pick. We needed that. Oh, come on. We are not letting that go through. I accidentally skipped the play, and it was a terrible call, so... 
Third and two. I think we got to bring some pressure here and just force uh, a throw at the top of the drop back here. But, of course, they're going to spread us out. Oh, what is this now? It told me four wide. I can't call a second timeout. Come on, man. They're going to run this into the end zone. I called the play for the personnel they had out there. Touchdown, Bears. It's a two-score game. Well, I can't say I'm feeling too good about this game right now. Their pass game legitimately looks good. And we haven't been able to match it at all. So I think I'm going to call some of our more aggressive pass plays because everything else, they're just blanketing. So we're spreading out here. I don't have Waddle on the field for the Waddle fade. Will it even work? Ryan across the middle, and that is a catch for Harry Douglas. I think it's very important we get a touchdown on this drive. First and ten for Atlanta, and here's Turner again to the edge across midfield. That stretch keeps working. Here's what we're going with right here. We're going play action on second and one. Fake inside and across the middle. No shot. Covered that perfectly. This is kind of a long yard to go. We have quarterback sneak called. And there goes Ryan right through the middle. That was easy. At the Chicago 32 with plenty of time. It's a quick throw off the mark and bobbled and dropped. Tillman almost had the INT, and then Roddy White almost made the play anyway. We're back to the air on second down, and on the outside, it's broken up. I can't believe how good this Bears coverage has been, and I think we really have to pass the ball well today. We're still calling a pretty aggressive pass game now. Third and ten for Ryan. Everyone's downfield, and he's taken down. This is a basic play. How can we not run a basic play? Let's kick the field goal. Well, another long field goal try here. Prater from 49. He missed it wide right. And the Bears will get a short field now with a minute 20 to go. This ain't looking good. We've got to keep this at least an 11-point game before half. First down here. Attacking downfield, and it is incomplete. But they are getting plenty of good looks downfield. That is a good look. We're not going to pick that off. It can be a big pickup. I think I've got to call a more aggressive game than I normally do, just based on how it's going. Otherwise, we're just going to let them march down the field. So we're sending six. Here we go. Pressure on Dorsey. He's taken down, and we'll call a timeout. All right, let's get off the field here and maybe give ourselves one more possession. Dorsey has time and throws across the middle. Incomplete. Good coverage. Wait, a timeout? Who's hurt? Why did we call a timeout? Isn't there a Bears player hurt? I'm really confused right now, but... Okay, they did call a timeout, not us. We still have one. And we'll have a minute to go here. Should have some okay field position. Here's short on the return. And we'll have it at the 41. I want to see who got hurt, though. Because I just did not see. And it looks like Dorsey. He's the one who went down. All right, we'll see if Dorsey is back for the second half. He's played really well. So... You know, having a backup in there might be a big difference. I have no idea what the play call is here. We should get the snap off at least. Please be a decent play. Snap down one. Ryan sacked. Not good. Time winding down here in the first half. We're backed up on second and 15 as we go empty. Colin the Waddle fade. It's thrown across the middle for a first. Roddy White. Timeout. That's it, offense. Great job. We're activating a game plan here. We're going to use our pass blocking because this is another deep shot. 
We're trying to get the big play. They're in press. Ryan with time. Throws middle and that's caught. Inside the 25, thrown down. Obviously got to hurry up here. 22 seconds, not going to panic. Something that could get to the end zone. Let's go double move. Okay, All right, 17 seconds. This is getting a little risky here. Hopefully there's no situation where we run out of time. But 10 seconds to go. Ryan fires and it's caught. And I don't think we're going to get there. Three seconds left, and I can't even find field goal. Why is that I the like bottom? Go, All right, on to the half we go. Definitely mismanaged that. I thought we could just get more out of that time remaining. 14-3. All right, I really don't want to forget about our ground game here. I want to try getting that established again in the second half, but we're down 11 here to start things. And we'll get downhill with Turner. A gain of three. We've called this play a few times already, and it's been money. A stretch for Turner. Working outside, and another strong pickup of first down. That's how you run it. And another injury? Oh, no, Turner's down. Wow. Hopefully that's not serious. Michael Turner out of the game right now. Castle is in. And on first down, it's a fullback dive. And the Bears are ready for it. We'll throw it for the first time on this drive. And off the mark. It's going to be third down and eight. And it looks like we have an update here on Turner. It's a stinger. So he should be back next possession. But we don't have him right now. And we have a big third down. All right, guys, we're going deep. I think I will activate the game plan again. Make sure the pass blocking is solid. This is Dagger here on the left side. So hoping to hit Harry Douglas if he's open on the in cut. We have time here for Ryan across the middle. And like clockwork, Harry Douglas nice first down. Out, there we go. Wait, he dropped it. Wait, never mind. It says incomplete down below. I have no idea if it's just delayed or off. We have a first down. But can we keep marching down the field? Castle the back. We're going to a counter now. I haven't tried too many of these. Bears look kind of ready. Running inside here. Castle for five. That's how you do it. Again out of the eye on second down. And it's going to be Castle following a lead block, and he gets the first, or he should have. Should be able to convert this third and short. Got it with Castle, stepping in nicely on this possession. I like what we're doing on this drive. Now we're going to mix it up a little bit, call one of our plays we haven't used today. This is Waddle in the backfield. Might be looking his way. And Ryan has no shot. That's not what we needed. Can the Falcons find a way to recover here at second down and 19? Four man rush. We got time for Ryan at least. And what happened? That should easily be a catch and run. Close to a first. Now we're on the verge of getting nothing on this drive. I will activate the pass block game plan again. I don't know if I can kick a 56 with Prater. He might be able to get it there, but I don't know if I trust the accuracy. So hopefully we get a little closer. Ryan, deep to the end zone! No! Roddy White couldn't bring it down! Fourth and 19. I'm going to give him a shot. Right, guys, let's kick the field goal. I don't know if he can get it there, but 56 yards here for Matt Prater. Come on. He missed it right. 14-3 still. Someone's just going to have to make a play. A turnover, something to swing this game in our favor. 
Chicago takes over, and we're in the backfield to meet Joseph. That's good. And I noticed that Ken Dorsey is not on the field right now. Dorsey still has a pending injury report, so he's not in the game. And I'm trying to figure out who is. Looks like their backup is Kevin Columbus, the rookie. Kevin Columbus, standing at six foot, 206 pounds. Here's Columbus off the fake. He'll throw across the middle accurately for a gain of 12. Looks off your faces and get on these guys. All right, defense, you're going to have to get off the field here. Columbus out of the shotgun, third and three. Columbus facing pressure, dumps it, and we're going to make the play. So the defense does get off the field, but we probably won't have great field position. Another punt for Chicago. It's a wobbler that goes inside the 10 and takes a Bears bounce. How wonderful. Well, we have a long way to go. Down 11 and 98 yards from the end zone. And now it looks like 99 yards from the end zone. This might not work. That's all I'm going to say. Second down. Fake from Ryan. He's got a man open. Wide open. Across the 20 and with running room. Let's go. It's Brad Tatum. Across midfield. It worked. Touchdown Falcons. 99 yards. We pulled it off. That wasn't where I thought the ball would go, but man, he was so open. We had to take a shot. I told you aggressiveness is the only way we can win. 99 yard touchdown to Brad Tatum, the tight end, and we're in this thing. We're gonna make Kevin Columbus feel the pressure today. We're going for two now to make this a three point game. Ryan heads to the air, he's got time. He had a man open and throws it to a covered receiver, incomplete. Come on, Matt. Hey, we're happy though it's a one score game. We have to get another touchdown though. So let's keep it going. 14-9, Bears will have this. Across the 25, nice, a penalty. So who knows if Ken Dorsey can return to this game, but Kevin Columbus is out there and they stack the box. They'll pitch it outside to Joseph, and he gets around the defensive end and has about three. What I might do is skip some of these play calls because I think the CPU will match up personnels a bit better? Maybe? They're going to go Joseph's way again, and he's drilled! Third down. Third and eight, third and medium. You know what we have to do. This is what I do now on third and medium. We're setting up to bring a little pressure here. Third down and eight for Chicago. Split backfield, maybe some extra protection here for the rookie. Here's Columbus, seven blocking, he stands tall. Takes a shot, and it's broken up! Thank you, Darrell Revis. We should have some pretty good field position too, you'd think. Here is short and no return. But a 49 uh, yard line start. I like that. Again, just trying to hammer inside. Oh no, Turner is taken down by Lance Briggs. Going in the wrong direction here. Trips formation here for the Falcons. Trying more play action, and wide open again! Watson with room! Inside the Chicago 30, and he breaks a tackle! Watson still going inside the 10! 39 yards, or actually might have been more. We were at our, on our half of the field. Wow, two wide open play action calls. They're saving the day. 47 yards and 99 yards. Last play of the quarter right here. First and goal from the Chicago 7. 
We're going Turner's way. Oh, no. Ryan keeps it. Running inside. Down to the one. Never do that again. If he fumbled, that would have ended the series right there. Just we're moving on. I don't know why the clock is stopped. Did you call a timeout? I didn't call a timeout. Seven seconds left. Okay. Wanted to rest up the offense a bit, but Turner will keep it. He's there! Touchdown! Like there Falcons go, take the lead. Let's go. We won that third quarter. Big time. Oh, Get emotional. Wow. That was one heck of a play, boys. Now this is big here. A two-point conversion try. And we're going to run it, okay? We're going back to Turner. And he completes it. 17-14. Falcons take a three-point advantage. I'm wondering if Kevin Columbus is still going to be out there for Chicago. Sure enough, he is. The injury seems somewhat serious, at least, for Ken Dorsey. Let's see if we can catch it quick here. Lower... Back bruise for Blaylock. For Dorsey, we have no idea. But they're running it here with Joseph. And he fights for every inch on this play. Second and six. And they continue running. Joseph looks to redirect. And he's met in the backfield. It's interesting how their entire offensive approach has changed with Columbus. And I think that's happening because the CPU calls plays they know. Plays they have had success with or plays that they have mastered and I just don't think that they have as much with Columbus that they can go to so everything is just way more simplified and it's very unfortunate for Chicago here's Columbus on third and eight they do give him the time the rookie can stand comfortably and throw down the sideline cut Adrian Joseph jr. that's a big play not in field goal range yet, though. Really want this stop. Was that a speed option? A heck of a job I think it was. There's no way we've seen Matt Ryan throw so many ridiculous interceptions and Columbus won't. He's under pressure. Fires downfield and it's caught! Escaping the defense inside the 20! Come on! Guys, just stay calm. This is one heck of a football game, everybody. They're going compact here. Joseph gets it. Met in the backfield, but fights ahead to the six or the five. A chance to take the lead again. All right, this is just going to be power on power here. They run with Joseph. He finds a little room and is still shy. Fourth down bears. So I'm guessing they'll kick and we'll have to score again. Come on, miss it. Hit the upright, you know you want to. Come on, Robbie Gold right down the middle. 17-17 with four to go. It's been a great game today, everybody. 17-17, we are in the driver's seat right now. We have a chance to go and win the football game on this drive. Four minute offense, not with a lead in this case. But we're going to run this outside. Turner, no shot. Our two biggest pass plays today have come off play action. And we're going back to the well here. Second and ten. Fake. Got time. That is caught for a very short pickup. This is the biggest play of the series right here. Third and seven. What do you call? Indeed, we are passing. I want to activate the game plan here. We have two of these left. Need some time. Waddle, slot left. Third and seven. It's the Waddle fade. Again, not run by Waddle. Across the middle, and the tough catch is made. We got a lot of players dragging tail Harry Douglas the saves the Look, day. You might accept mediocrity, but not on my team. Two deep safeties here for Chicago. And we fake it again to Michael Turner. Airing it out in the middle. It's almost picked. Was that a drop? Like that hit the receiver in the hands? 
The ticker says it was dropped by Charles Tillman. So second down and 10 now. I might even call this four down territory. I want to win this thing. Turner, not much on the counter. Well, we're going to call the pass block boost again here. This is the last. Third and 11. Here we go. Chicago trying to get the football back with time to go and take the lead. Can the Falcons extend the drive? Four-man rush. Time for Ryan. And again, it's caught! Harry Douglas! How many big plays can he make? Go to the warning. Get rested up. Oh, I hit skip. They're probably going to run a play. Just skip to the two-minute warning. Don't actually call anything. All right, last play before the warning. It's going to be Turner here redirecting. Good call. Turner to the 40. Now we hit the, the warning. warning. Now we have made a 50-yard field goal and missed a 56 and a 49-yarder. Trying to get closer. Oh, it's Briggs again. Tell him he's got to have some fun the runs today. just haven't worked on this drive. Smart. I'm trying to not, you know, give up on that, but I think it's time now. Third down and eight. Ryan to the air. Throwing quick and All missing. Right, Roddy White. Up. Fourth down. I want to go for it, but... Oh, man. I'd just be calling the same plays over again, and eventually they catch on to them. Let's try to play some defense. We're going max cover punt. We have our timeout still. Hopefully we can still have a shot in regulation. A minute 40 left to go, though, and the Bears will have a chance. That's a touchback. What a chance for Kevin Columbus. Filling in for Ken Dorsey. He put together a great drive on their last uh, score. They'll run it here. Again out of the Maryland formation. And Joseph has a first. That's the last thing we want to see here. Again running behind the fullbacks. And Joseph finds an opening. A long first down run to the 48-yard line. And they keep going no huddle here with this same look. I'm going to call a timeout. They're just outside range now. It says they're going to have four receivers. I just don't know what I can trust. So what do they actually come out in? Spread. A five wide look here for Chicago. Columbus tries to quiet the crowd. He's got time to throw and completes on the outside. They're just outside range now. Bears come out and again they spread the field out. Four receivers in the game. 61 seconds to play. We're sending pressure. Columbus, knocked down! Huge play here. Third and six for the Bears. This could be one of those extra protection calls for Columbus. Seven blocking, Columbus sidestepping, and he's hit down! Timeout! Uh, who asked you the anyway? Falcons will get the football again. Call a timeout. What an incredible football game this is. The Bears will punt again, and this is off the side of the foot. That's not a good kick. We'll have it at the 25. 48 seconds to go, and we're not looking to waste them. Spread out. Demario Waddle checks in and Daniels is the motion man on first down. It's a fake. Throwing over the middle. All right, incomplete. Get that kicker warmed up. I want to win the football game right now. 46 seconds to go. Two receivers in the game. Roddy White on the left side. And here's Ryan. He's hit as he throws. It's a wobbling duck and it's intercepted. The Bears will have it, and this is taken inside the 40. And there's the season, most likely.
From here, it would be a 50-yard field goal. So we're just calling our most aggressive plays. Can I adjust this in time? No. They'll run. Joseph here hit in the backfield, and he's going to lose some yardage. Now they're suddenly trying to spread the defense out again. They could throw it here and try to get a little closer. But we're going to bring some pressure as they do run. Joseph again in the backfield. Third and 16 from here. It's a pretty long kick. We're going to use our last time out there to get into a better call. We just have to make a play here. I don't know that Chicago can make a field goal from this spot. It would be a 56-yarder. We're not blitzing. Looks like they'll have the extra protection. That's been the case every time they go split back. So third down and long. They're going to give Columbus some time. And he'll launch it. Downfield. And Hester makes the catch. Matched up with Waddle and he got it done. They bring out the field goal team. It's a 29-yard game-winning try. I can't believe it. And the Chicago Bears have knocked us out of the postseason. 20-17 to in a heartbreaker. We played so well in that third quarter. I was getting so excited. I thought we had them. We did have them. Columbus came in and played really well for the Bears. We end up with 46 yards rushing here for Turner, 20 for Castle, 81 receiving yards for Douglas. He was outstanding. I can't believe we wasted that comeback. Our season is over. I can't believe it. We had them. We had them right where we wanted them. We'll stay with the Falcons and give it another go. That's a very tough and sudden way for the season to end. I really thought we were going to win the game. We can't believe we gave that up though, that throw to Hester. Well everybody, that's another season in the books here in NFL Head Coach 09. We'll have to try it again next year. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. And what do you think we should look at doing here in the postseason? What can the Falcons do to get further next year? Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and have a great day, everybody.